Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. My name's Joel, and this is A Stable Life. We're off to a quick start this morning, guys, because the veterinarian is here to see Tucker. I had to get all the horses in by a certain time, and that certain time is... My watch is dead, so that's a good start to our morning. <laughs> Come on, Pacho. Go ahead, bud. There you go. I had to get them in for 9 o'clock, and it is 8.57. We're cutting it close. But we got Pancho in. Now I'll be letting Roni and William in. Oh, yeah. So just as a brief update, we already have grain in the stalls. And all the muck buckets are taken out of the stalls because it's manure day. Let's go. So exciting. William, you're asleep at the wheel. Come on, bud. Roni's leaving them. Well, the veterinarian just arrived, but it's okay. Tucker's already in a stall, so... We're good. We made it in time. So we're letting in the middle field now. Good morning, boys. <laughs> I know, we're off to a real fast start this morning. Morning, Casino. Morning, Jack. Morning, Champ. Morning, Poe. And as things should be, good morning, Rebel. All right. Looks like we're gonna have a little bit more of a normal day. Time will tell, but I got a feeling. And time for the big field. We got Swede, Declan, and Danny up here at the front. You ready, boys? There you go. Bring it in. There you go. Swede, Declan, Danny, Skywalker, and Obi. A little well known fact for you Skywalker and Obi are actually great friends. There goes Samson, Duke, Spitfire, Archer, Argento, and Gavin. So I didn't know if you knew that or not, but yeah, horses can have friends and Skywalker and Obi are actually known to be really good friends. They always love to hang out with each other. So it's really cool to see. Speaking of Menor Day, my word. <sighs> Got a full load today. <laughs> oh, and I see more down there. It's supposed to be warm today, but not as hot as it was over the weekend. So that's nice. Definitely happy about that. And no worries, I'll update you on how the veterinarian visit goes with Tucker and the reason why we actually have um, the veterinarian here to see Tucker is because uh, we just wanna make sure that things are going as we believe they are. And so we wanted some professional help to come in and take a look at Tucker just to make sure things are going the way that we want them to be. In other news, look what happened to that round bale. It's gone. <laughs> All that we have left is actually the core. And uh, a lot of awesome ideas people have had from electric chainsaws to, uh, well, really everything in between about using the round bale to feed for the horses. So cool stuff, guys, cool stuff. I appreciate all the suggestions. Alrighty, guys, we've come to that very special time of the day. Do you know what time it is? It's doggy time. Woo! Get it, Buster. Gavin, how did we go from not having you for three videos in a row to having you for two videos in a row? Four videos in a row, but you have to wait and see for that. It's not gonna happen. Don't mind Gavin. Woo. Oh yeah, good stuff, Rock. Good stuff, Buster. Come on, Buster. Come on, Buster. Man, you guys are excited to get out there. I know, I know, I know. So excited to get out and run free. Go ahead. There you go. All right, now that the donkeys are out, we are moving on to... <laughs> now that the donkeys are taken care of, we are moving on to working on daily care. So being that it's manure day, I'm gonna work on taking care of manure. We're gonna be handing you over to our co-host, Gavin, as he takes you to taking care of the horses. Let's do some boards. Welcome back guys. Gavin has all the horses finished up and all the muck buckets are all empty. All looking quite good. All right, so with that being said, it's time to let out the horses. Now today's gonna be a little interesting. So 
Normally, the Donkeys are gonna be able to go between the left and right runs, but today they are gonna be stuck in the right run. The left run is gonna be for William. The lower ring is for Tucker. And uh, just as an update on how Tucker's doing, he is definitely getting better. And the vet said that basically he has a severe infection in his back right hoof. We've been doing everything that we were supposed to. So we're super happy to hear that. But the infection is so severe that he's actually gonna be getting injections in his neck just to help clear that up with some antibiotics. That way that hoof can really clean up and Tucker can get back to doing what Tucker loves to do, which is eating grass in every place on the pasture. So we're super looking forward to Tucker getting better. The vet said that just a couple days of injections should clean out that abscess. So we've been keeping him up here so that he's not inside the, the swamp and, and inside the mud and, and he's not getting chased by other horses. He's basically by himself. And most importantly, when we have him in the lower run, we can monitor how much water he's drinking and how much food he's eating. So we know exactly how well he's doing and how strong or how weak his appetite is, which tells us where his pain level's at. And the good news is that Tucker's got a healthy appetite. First try. And William, the reason why he's in the left run is because William's hooves are acting up a little bit today. So we're doing basically trying to be preemptive and ensuring that things don't get any worse with him. So we have him in the left run and we're ensuring that nothing gets worse when it comes to any potential infections that could occur. You know, it happens, but we're just happy to hear that every, or happy to see that everything's working out well. Come on, Casino. There you go. Go ahead, bud. Ready to head out, champ? Go ahead, Poe. And just like that, we have the big field out. Everyone's looking good. Middle field is cleaning up what little hay is left behind by Tucker. So we're just gonna let them chill here a little bit and then slowly push them on out. Tucker's gonna chill down here. But I wanna show you guys something pretty interesting. Uh, you may be wondering, when are we gonna start finally start getting hay, small square bales put in here, and what's our plans for second cutting? Well, I've got some good news. Check it out. Different day actually today. We're a day before feeding, so we kind of went a little bit back in time. But I'm here in one of our hay fields, and we're actually in the process of doing second cutting for horses. Now, this is actually a big deal. So, second cutting, what it actually is, is this is a hay field that we've already gone over and gotten first cutting off of. Now, in this hay, we've actually round baled this entire field, and that's currently wrapped and stored for us to use in the winter. The reason being is that first cutting has the most amount of nutrients in it, and that nutrients it really helps the horses put weight on or keep weight. So we wanted most of those nutrients saved for the winter when they're going through most of it, just trying to stay warm. All of this is going to be small square bale. Now these small square bales are important because we use those in the stable. Interestingly enough, this used to be the only way that we actually did all of our hay. The first part of this process is actually called disc vining, which is actually pretty neat. We got a, a piece of equipment that goes over the field rather quickly, and you're gonna see it in one pass. It's gonna cut the bottom off, pick the crop up, throw it through two conditioning blades that crimp it, bleed the moisture out of it, and then spit it out the back so it immediately starts drying. You can see here what a clean cut it does. It's going right across the top. And this is the stuff we're looking for right here. If I can grab a leaf here. If you look at the leaf, you can actually see that it's been cracked in a couple places. And that's on purpose. And the reason why is when you crack the blades of grass, it allows the moisture to bleed out of the blade of grass. Now the sun and the wind is gonna do its job and slowly dry this out. So we'll see how much I'm able to film with this process. My plan is I'm looping all of the processes that are involved in making hay into one video. From A to Z, disc binding, tedding, windrowing, baling, square and round. And I think that'd be really cool 
uh, video. I'm really looking forward to making that. So if you haven't, don't forget to subscribe to make sure that you're gonna be able to see that video when it comes out this fall slash winter. Just a few passes and man, it's looking nice and clean. I love the look of these rows. Just like that, we got a beautiful freshly mowed field, ready to dry, sun's right, wind's right. Let's hope we get a good crop out of this. So welcome back. It's a one day later, it's Tuesday, manure day, and we're back to present time. I'm over here checking out the, the cut hay, and there's definitely not a lot here because of how dry it was, but what is here is dry. Three more hours and that'll be ready to bale, especially with the sun the way it is today. It's beautiful out. It's gonna be an interesting day, and I will tell you right off the bat, I wasn't prepared for a stack and hay today. I thought we were gonna be doing that either tomorrow or Thursday. Let's see what uh, the day holds. We're gonna go meet up with the veggie boys. We've got spicy dilly beans here. I don't really know, what is, what is this called, barbecue? Uh, hamburger barbecue. We got hamburger barbecue, I got pickles on mine. And then I, we also have homemade French onion dip with potato chips. We also had watermelon, but I ate mine already. So it looks like because of the nice weather and the dry conditions that we're having, today's gonna be the day that we're baling some horse hay. So this is what we have as a windrower. Uh, what this does is this grabs the hay when it's spread out across the field and moves it all the way over to one side and fluffs it up however high we, we need it to be and prepares the row for the, the baler, whether it be a round baler or a square baler. In this instance, we're gonna be doing small square bales. Hooked up to the two wheel drive 100 so he can get around the rows nice and quick. And as you guys can see, the hay mow is empty and ready for hay. You ready? Nope. So I'm gonna be unloading a couple wagon loads of straw with the veggie boys while we, uh, while Daniel's raking hay. So in the meantime, I'm gonna get you guys a quick uh, couple shots up for the windrower in action. This field didn't do too well. It actually got burned pretty hard from the drought that we had. Right after we got first cutting off, we got into a drought. Uh, the reason why we take this off is because we're hoping to boost the third cutting. Cutting it down, will stimulate a lot of new growth. And if we can get some rain on this, we might have a really good third cutting. So the goal is to get the second cutting off, baled and in the horse barn, and uh, hopefully get a third cutting out of this. It's pretty nifty how those little tines grab the hay and put it all to one row. And you can see how clean it is after he's gone through. And that's what we're looking for right here. You can see the wind's coming right up against the row here drying this down. This is all super dry here. That's good. That's good. Daniel's going to keep on raking. I got to go help the guys unload some straw wagons and get those wagons ready for horses. Oh yeah. What do you say we go for a drive, huh? Me is the 
wagon load of straw and this is what we're going to be using to put the small square bales in so we need to get this one and then we have another wagon that we're going to is also full of straw that we're planning on using for the horses that we need to get unloaded so we're going to get these two unloaded so they're available for us to use for the horse hay let's go let's go we don't have all day let's go i'm taking my time so we got this one unloaded uh, matt's going to take the uh, tractor and go drop it off in the field for the for us to bale hay with it. I just gotta close this back end before he goes. And then I'm supposed to go out and meet Daniel and Ray Kay. Let's go check and see how the hay looks and then meet up with Daniel. Let's see how this looks here. Dry, dry, dry. It's all dry. Oh man, I can't believe this. It's time to bale some hay. Just by the looks of things, this field definitely's got a lot more hay in it. See, he's just raking this now. Let's see how this is looking. Nice and dry. Real nice and dry. Good deal. All right, now I'm in the 100 raking hay. Daniel's going to go get the baler hooked up to the 130 and get all that set up and ready to go. Okay, enough talking. Time to rake some hay. All right, which hydraulic? Nope. There's that one. up another field we only got two left and then all the fields are raked i don't know if we're gonna be bailing all the fields today but if we are then that means we're gonna be bailing one two three four five seven fields good stuff <laughs> Why is there just a camera out in this field? <laughs> but anyway, we just got this field completely mowed off. We got it all raked and baled. We really wanted to get started on our hay. Uh, we were having a little bit of a problem and that problem was there was no rain. So the grass hay that we had growing here, it didn't get super, super tall, which is unfortunate because we wanna get as much hay as possible. So we had to come through and mow off the top of the hay to encourage it to keep growing. So hopefully our third cutting of grass hay it's gonna look a lot nicer than our second. This, this always happens. Here, take this one back. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm back, everyone. Did he stop? No, he's gone. I don't want to admit it, but I did miss having square bales. That's nice. Alrighty guys, so we are back inside the barn and it is actually four o'clock, which is normally right around the time when I finish afternoon feeding. So my deadline's five, I can't be later than five. What we've decided to do is Daniel's gonna finish baling the hay and we're gonna back the wagons into the barn. We'll fill this up at a later date, but what'd you guys think of that baling footage Gavin got, huh? You're welcome. So apparently we have two different ways of bringing in the donkeys. There's the way I do it, and then there's the way Gavin does it. What we're gonna see this afternoon is how Gavin does it. I hope you guys are excited. I know I am. All right, it's time to let in the donkeys. 
No donkey dance for that though. It's not technically donkey time. It's just time to let them in. Uh, I'm going to be trying to bring them in with no food bucket, no leading. I asked Joel to stay out of the way because it scares them. He's a scary guy, for them at least. Buster, Rocky! You guys ready for some food? Here we go. Come get some food. Come on, guys. Let's go. Come on, Buster. Come on, let's go. Oh no, the hay, I didn't counter. No, I didn't count on the hay. This is all gone wrong. Come on, Buster. Well, let's report to Joel. There was hay still outside and they got distracted. I have failed my mission. <laughs> Get the feed buckets. It's time. Well, Gavin, I'm gonna admit, I'm very impressed. And I have a feeling this probably works for you all the time, but just because you had a camera, it didn't work. It works maybe 20% of the time. <laughs> why, would, why, 20%? why would we try it if it only works 20% of the time? For YouTube, Joel, I wanted to show it's possible. Well, we'll get it one of these times. Alrighty guys, and it's gonna be on that note that we're gonna be drawing a beautiful end to a crazy day. It's only spicy to have Mr. Gavin here to help. Isn't this guy awesome? He's super awesome. All right guys, thank you so very much for watching. If you haven't, like the video. I'm gonna get it in order this time. Like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Then go down into the comments, leave what your favorite meal of the day is. Whoa. Actually, this is a two-part. Leave what your favorite meal of the day is, whether it be breakfast, lunch, dinner, that, and then whichever one. What's your favorite food to have at that time of day? This is a pretty complex question. You know, so it's like, if, you're, if your favorite's breakfast, what's your favorite breakfast meal? Like pancakes, waffles. Oh, okay. All time. right. Okay, so what's your favorite meal of the day? Probably dinner. Dinner, and then favorite food item. Chicken wings. Chicken wings. Woo. Uh, my favorite meal of the day is probably lunch, and I'm gonna say sandwiches. Yeah, I love sandwiches. They're pretty awesome. And thank you guys, and I also wanted to give a special shout out to Bill and his family. Thank you guys so very much for this shirt. It's super awesome. Really appreciate the note that you sent with it. It was super awesome to read. You guys are awesome. Super appreciate all of you guys for enjoying the videos and, and for you know doing stuff like this. It's pretty cool. You and your family rock, Bill. Even though I didn't get a shirt, it's okay. <laughs> all right, thanks, Gavin. Thank you, guys. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.